Hey, what's going on, Trav? It's Red again, just hitting you guys up with another video. If you're new to my channel, welcome. So guys, I'm gonna give you some messages from your soul, um, what your soul wants you to know. Um, I'm using the Soul's Journey Oracle Card Deck. Um, so this is gonna be a general reading um, for all the star signs from Aries all the way to Pisces. And my videos are timeless, so when you come across this video, it's for you um, to give you a bit of guidance. And if any of you are interested in a personal reading, um, you can send me an email or you can send me a DM on Instagram um, at C Crystal Clear and I'm active on Instagram so yeah getting you can get in contact with me easy on Instagram anyway um, so and I'm gonna put I'm gonna start putting my information in the drop down menu so you can click in the menu and then just check out my stuff in the drop down menu as well so yeah let's see what um, messages your soul wants to tell your ego first card that come out is love and the card says I commit to the practice of seeing the, the good in all things <clears throat> so no matter what situation you're going through or experiencing try to see it through loving eyes try to see what the lesson has to teach you instead of what it's doing to you if that makes sense um, everything that's happening is happening for you not to you and it's a part of your soul's growth um, some of these may need to work on your heart chakra so you can be open to receive love some of these may need to um, give yourself some self-love as well because you've been taking care of everyone else and putting your your needs last you need to turn the power on yourself and um, put yourself first is what's been asked but love is the key, unconditional love. That's where we're, where we're trying to get to. Um, and working from the heart, the heart, your heart center. Because the heart center is where the human and the divine meet. Let's see what other messages are coming from your soul. And then the next card is judgment. And then the card says, I understand that everyone has their own unique path and challenges. Um, yeah, everyone actually does, everyone does have their own unique path and challenges and not everyone's going where you're going and not everyone, you're not going where everyone else is going. Um, so yeah, it's just trying to not be judge. I, I don't judge, well, no nah, man, I used to be judgmental, I used to be. Um, it's okay to have a little bit of judge, be a little bit judgmental, say yeah, I wouldn't do that. But not actually judging the person, like running them into the ground about their actions or whatever. Um, as long as you're not like fucking thinking with it, everyone, it's all right to have a little piece of um, whatever. But um, yeah, being judgmental, yeah. Um, try not to be judgmental and stuff because everyone's path and everyone's journey is different to yours, man. Everyone's life experiences, everyone, everyone's going through shit. That's what I'm saying. Everyone's going through shit. Everyone's been through shit. Everyone is dealing with shit. So try not to judge someone from what they're going through because it's different to what you're going through. Like, yeah, everyone is going through shit and everyone is ha having challenges or been or got challenges to deal with, man. Um, like me. But no, I've never really, I've never judged homeless people because it's weird because I can, like, one of my gifts are I can speak i speak to people's soul not their ego so when people are talking to me i'm just talking direct to their soul in it um it's a no well it, it reveals to me what you're really about in it um but i don't uh, yeah i keep that shit to myself but yeah you guys can know this um and i can see people's um i can cut sometimes i can see people's journey not full journey but sometimes where they're at currently in their journey and all the most of the time when I see homeless people, they they've chosen their souls chosen the homeless route to be homeless in this lifetime in this incarnation for the most so soul growth, you know, like um, many people would struggle living outside, having to find where they're getting their next meal from, with having to deal with the um, the outside the the um, what is it bloody called. Yeah, having to deal with nature, the rain, having to deal with um, the cold and being outside, it's a, it's a tough mission, you know? Like, we're, you've got to be grateful for having a, a roof over your head. Some people haven't got that, man. So, yeah, I've never judged homeless people for their mission because um, their mission is 
more more um got a lot more soul growth than than ours because the stuff that they got to deal with we ain't got to deal with half of that stuff like finding yeah so yeah try not to be judgmental on your path um no matter what your experience like other people other people are just different to you man and then let's see what we're going next we've got the next card is pride and then the card says i love myself and i'd see myself in everyone so some of you have just got hella pride and your pride is getting in the way of certain situations um like being stubborn maybe oh yeah i'm prideful i'm unforgiving i'm this i'm that it's all pride it's all ego um so your your soul is telling you to like check your pride pride like listen a lot of black people had died from be, having pride yeah like back in the day I ain't even gonna go into that, but yeah, listen, man would have done so, like listen, things would have been a lot different for pride, yeah. Like some man ain't here for having pride. Listen, that's all I'm saying in it. I'm not getting um, going too into depth, but pride can get in a lot of way of the things, and not black people's pride is very not say everyone's got pride, but black people is pride is on the next level in it. Man will dead people for pride and that. Man will get murdered for pride. That's all I'm saying. Um, but yeah, pride can get in the uh, pride can get in the way of um, re um, okay, that one to come out Le relationships. Like you being prideful, I'm not. I'm not gonna apologize. I'm not open to that. They're not my type, bro. That's all ego. That's all ego, and that's gonna stop you. You may lose meeting the love of your life for having pride. That's what I'm saying. So some of you have been called to check your pride. Um, a little bit of pride, okay, but not when it's running the show. Like the the ego's in full swing. Um, the the soul, the ego, it, the soul is meant to use the ego, not the the other way around. The ego doesn't run the show, but well, it does in a lot of cases. But once you tame the ego down and have an ego death, things are, are a lot different. You can start being your authentic self and being more genuine. And then your next card is success. And then the card says, "I know that there is no greater goal than to love." Some of you need to. Some of you need to be open to love. That heart chakra is taking a beating. And by d doing certain, some of you are looking external for love instead of internal. So you may be chasing things externally, material things. You may be chasing men or women, um, going to the gym, overworking. Some of you are workaholics maybe. And um, you just want to get be successful. There's nothing wrong with being successful. But um, yeah. There's nothing wrong with being successful, successful, but um, as lo as long as you're just taking your care of yourself, yeah. But some of you, yeah, some of you are turning, looking externally for stuff instead of internally. So some of you are, cha um, are kind of your ego's got you running around in the three D world trying to achieve stuff when you need to be going within. You achieve a lot more from going within, and be more successful from going within when you. Go within and you find out what you really want. That's when all the magic begins. Oh, yeah, I don't want to do that because my parents or religion or this told me to do that. I want to do this because I gen genuinely want to do that. And that's where life is. That's love. Love is the highest frequency in the universe. Once you're vibrating at, like, the, like right, that's why I keep saying, try work from your heart chakra. The highest vibration there is. Once you're working with that, nothing can even touch you, dog. Fear anxiety all them low emotions they're done i swear that yeah some of you may be called to um get a reiki session that's what i'm hearing as well because some of you the chakras are just messed up man yeah like i said man the next card is honesty man and then the card says i can't always expect truth from the truth from others but i can expect it to yourself some of you maybe your ego is lying to you guys um your ego may be, I don't know, say for instance you feel a certain way, your ego may be telling you you don't feel a certain way, so you're having a battle over the head, over the heart, and it's just about going into the heart. Your head will just talk bare nonsense to you. This, that, that, start causing up scenarios, problems, this, that, you said this, they said that, and are oh, people judging me, and this, and, bruv, like, go with what your heart, as long as you, listen, as long as you're happy, yeah, that's all that matters. Burn everyone else, because they're not you, and you're not them. As long as you're happy, and trying to be content in life and being being honest with yourself, that's it. That's where you want to be coming from, man. That's like you, you want to be in a world, 
um, everyone, you're, you're in a world where everyone wants to be the same as everyone else. Why do you want to be the same as everyone else? You're unique. My saying is, I might even get it tattooed on me. I was born to stand out, not fit in. And that is me. I do exactly what I want to do. Yeah. No one can't tell me nothing because I'm doing me, innit? Like, if you've got a problem, you, that's on you, dog. I'm doing, I'm still going to do me. Like, yeah. That's a you problem, not me. So as long as you're being honest, your, your soul is telling you to be honest with yourself right now. Um, and what do you want? What does your heart desire? Where do you want to be? What goals do you want? You know? I don't know, I'm real passionate about the honesty, man. I'm real passionate about that one. I could get bare messages for that right now. I don't know if it's for a, um, if it's for a specific individual, but... Um, yeah, if it speaks out to you guys, it's the collective message in it. So it's gonna the message is gonna reach someone. And then the card, the next card is patience. And I got it tattooed on my hand, you know, dog. Patience is the key. I got it tattooed on my Ross Clark hand. Yeah, I, I show up in the personal readings as well, which is quite frustrating. Um, patience. I accept that everything happens in divine timing. So um, yeah. You need to just be patient. Some the ego tends to want things now, 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 and it, the universe just doesn't work like that. When you're ready, are you even open to receive what you want? Yeah, I am. I am still. Yeah, I am open to receive, but yeah, the time. Um, yeah, I need to be patient because things need to manifest, and I need to work on certain stuff. But yeah, ask yourself: um, Are you ready to receive what you want? Hmm. But yeah, the next card is discipline. And then the card says, I can accomplish what I set my mind to do. So what I get from this is um, you guys need to, or well, I don't know, maybe a specific message or the collective, um, is about being disciplined and committing to your spiritual practices. Yoga, meditation, breath work, going out in nature, drinking water, looking after the vessel, um, sound healing, crystal healing, being disciplined in your spiritual practice. You can achieve anything in the universe, anything you want, but you just gotta be disciplined, like going to the gym and being wedged or ripped or whatever. But you just gotta be disciplined and keep getting at it. Um, like even with like meditating, I used to hate meditating, but now man can squeeze in a little five minutes and it, my day is flying fam. Um, but it's about de being disciplined. Some days you don't wanna do it, but then sometimes it's like, bruv, if I meditate, it's gonna help my mental health. So like, yeah, man gotta choose, where do you wanna be at? Do you wanna be stuck doing certain things? Or do you want to progress? That's all up to you, man. But yeah, you've been called to be disciplined in whatever um, whatever resonates with you for wherever you're at on your journey. I don't know, being disciplined in, I don't know, eating better, I don't know, whatever whatever you guys are experiencing right now, um, you've been called to be disciplined with that. And then the next card is adversity. And the card says, I accept that challenges are the best way to learn. So yeah, we all learn from mistakes and we all, we grow, like if we don't, if you, listen, no one has got anywhere in life without failing, innit? Without trying something and failing. Like you only get places by trying, 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 trying. Um, so yeah, the don't be scared to step outside your comfort zone and fail, yeah? Because failing is learning. Once you fail a couple of times, you start, um, start getting the hang of it. Oh yeah, I'll do, try this and try that. And then you start adapting and um, changing stuff. But yeah, um, don't see some, don't see your problems as obstacles. See them as challenges. So it's like, oh yeah, I can yeah, I'm gonna experience that. Like, it's your attachment to it, the outcome as well. Um, some of you really need to step outside your comfort zone. Some of you really don't like change. Some of you may be fixed signs. Um, I'm not sure what's fixed signs. I know Scorpio is a fixed sign. I think Taurus is a fixed sign. And it's the the signs that are right in the middle of the month, I've heard. I swear, I'm not sure. But some of you may be fixed signs and don't like change. And then the last card is self esteem. And then the card says, I possess gifts of the soul that benefit me and others. Yeah, some of you need to work on your self-esteem. Some of you may use certain substances to give you a full sense of confidence and self-esteem, um, which is all ego. Like, just be genuine with yourself and be genuine with others. Don't like everyone's different, man. What are your what what are your self-esteem issues? What what do you feel you lack? Do you feel that 
you're not pretty enough do you feel you're not skinny enough um just using that example if you don't make peace with that say yeah okay like yeah i don't like the way my hair looks or i don't like my the way my body looks you know love that you're unique don't compare yourself to anyone else um Yeah, some of you need to do work on that, um, the solar plexus chakra. The solar plexus chakra is blocked. It's to do with willpower, happiness, self-esteem and confidence. Um, and you can use uh, citrine. Citrine's a good crystal. Citrine, um, sunstone's good as well. Yellow crystals and cal yellow calcite um, is really good for the... Um, solar plexus and that's like what our, one of our main energy has is in this incarnation um, and yeah the solar plexus is like the you get a lot of energy cords attached to that chakra um, which can be very difficult to clear so some of you may need to do some energy clearing some of you may have um, past life issues that so that the self-esteem is linked to so I don't know if you you might have been I don't know um, you may have been a bloody princess in the past life but you might have been ugly or something I don't know and you was murdered for it I don't know like this, I, is that a chance? I don't know some of you might have been murdered in the past life for the way you looked or something I don't know but this may, that may have brought self esteem issues in this past life that you need to clear out um, let's do one more and then health. <laughs> it's the last card and then the card says I will honour the physical vessel that nourishes my soul so it's, yeah you are being called to um, look after the vessel man some of you think, um, need to be ch have a change in your diet just take looking a bit after the vessel more man the older you get the more important it is to look after the vessel man it's so important um, because the, if you're not looking after the vessel the older you get the more problems you're going to have and um yeah, you want the vessel to run as smooth as possible, man. Um, because when that's a, that's like yeah, the vessels. If you're having problems with the vessel, um, it's going to start affecting your mental health, emotional health, um, your self esteem, <laughs> um, and everything in in general, man. Um, so yeah, some of these may be called to change your diet, getting more vegetarian, more vegetarian. Um, some of these need to drink more water, exercise, maybe some yoga. Um, Anything else? No, that's it. Um, yeah, so that's your um, your guidance reading. Um, what your soul's trying to speak to your ego and tell your ego. Um, yeah, if you like the video, like, share, subscribe, and don't be shy because I see you guys watching, but I don't see you guys liking. Yeah, um, show support, man. And um, yeah, if any of you guys are interested in the personal reading, you can send me an email. Or send me a DM on Insta Instagram. I'm going to put my um, my information in the drop down menu. Um, and yeah, follow me on Instagram as well, man. I'm trying to build a little community and bring people together. Um, I met my soul brother and sister on there. And we um, on YouTube, funny enough. And now we're on Instagram and we'd be kicking it. Um, so yeah, trying to build this little community and bring people together, man. Like-minded people. And yeah, just to just catch a vibe, man. And bring... And, bring the community like-minded souls together man because we're all in this together um because we are all one at the end of the day but um yeah peace love and light tribe and i'm gonna hit you guys up real soon